Hey everyone, it's Colin with Eagle Eyes Mr. Productions. Thank you for joining me and welcome. And today I'm going to be showing how to paint uh, Sanguinary Guard Wings. And these are going on my Smash Captain. Uh, so I'm going to be showing how to paint these using exactly two colors and just the airbrush. Um, these you can really get lost in trying to figure out how to paint them. Uh, they are deceptively kind of detailed with all the feathers and everything. Uh, but if you go too far, they can really kind of take over the model or, you know, really kind of be a distraction almost where really their purpose is to be a backdrop for the model in front of the wings and to give that really nice pop on the table of those pure angelic white wings. So, I want to lean into that. I don't want to spend a lot of time on these. Um, if I chose, like for example, if I chose to like brush paint these or something or do a wash and a highlight um, and go in and paint each one of these kind of feathers with white paint in a brush, uh, you know, the unit would never get done. <laughs> uh, they would just take forever. So I really want just you know, some shading and really, really pure white. No edge highlighting, no brush, no funny business. So um, so what I'm gonna be using is scale color bearing blue. I like this because it is a very soft blue and a little desaturated, uh, but it's just a very soft blue and it's very matte and it just really is very subtle. And then, whoa, uh, Vallejo Model Color White, which is my go-to white for the airbrush. And I'm gonna be using uh, Badger Patriot Extreme 105 with the super fine detail kit, uh, needle and nozzle kit. I love this brush for detail brush. I get really good results with this brush. And so I continue to use it. I mean, the Badger Patriot is fantastic. It's my go-to brush. I do 98% of my work with that brush. Uh, the Extreme, when I'm doing detail work, is really, really nice. So today, for our purposes, I will be using the Extreme. And just mixing the Scale 75 with a little water. which is really what I mix most, most acrylic paints. I'll just mix with water. And works good for me, so. Okay, so the bearing, so this is the bearing blue. And I'm gonna show you how thin this is. This is super thin because I'm really not gonna need it. it might be a little too thin, but we'll find out in a second. And the pressure is a little high. One of the things I like about the 105 is this is adjusting the air air pressure on the on the uh, airbrush, so I can adjust that down because it's too high. Because of how thin the bearing <clears throat> the bearing blue is, I need the air pressure air pressure a lot lower. And painting these wings, one of the reasons I wanted to do a tutorial on this is because this is really going to be and exercise in kind of spraying directionally. And what I mean by that is there are these kind of ridges here, these edges of the feathers. I'm gonna spray bearing blue basically horizontally over those feathers and try and catch the inside of this edge I don't know if you can see that real well. Try and catch the inside edge of these feathers. Um, and then I also want there to be some shading kind of at the tops of these rows of feathers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this bearing blue and then I'm gonna come back with the white and spray the other direction, but kind of straight down, kind of like this, this direction. And what that'll do is protect the bearing blue underneath the feathers 
and the bearing blue on this edge. So this whole thing is gonna be an exercise in spraying directionally. This is a little complicated because these lower feathers, the edge I wanna spray this way, and then the other sets of feathers, the edge I wanna spray going that way. So just look and you can, I mean, you can just look at the model and see which way they're laying on top of each other. And I don't have to be too, too fine with the bearing blue because I'm going to really hit it with white um, when, when it comes time to do the, the white on the model. So but this is, this is an exercise in directionality and an exercise kind of a patience. So again, I'm spraying like horizontally over the feathers and you can see that blue show up, but if I turn it, it's still a lot of white, 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 and then blue. It's subtle. There we go. There's a little more blue. So that did tint the, the feathers a little bit, but if I look at the edges of the feathers now, there's that nice blue. And I want to kind of go a little further. This is not obviously going to be the final. Now I just want to hit underneath these feathers a little bit. There we go. Underneath these feathers. Underneath those, underneath those. And those hard lines are not going to stay there. Um, when I go back over with the white, we're going to see those soften a lot. So again, the second row of feathers now. Spraying horizontally over the top. You can see how blue that looks right there, but then you flip it and there's still white, but you can see where we're getting some nice definition between the feathers with that blue. And I kind of missed some of these feathers down here, so there we go. So you can see we're getting a nice definition between those feathers. And when we turn the wing like that, it's pretty much blue. But remember, they're going to be facing like that on the model, and we're still going to come back with white and soften everything um, and make sure to get, make sure that it's, you know, the wings are actually white. They're not. I don't want these to end up looking blue. I want them to be white. So, but for the first pass, for the shading, that's perfect. I'm super happy with that. Now I'm going to come on the back of the wing and remember now I'm going to spray a little bit kind of going in this direction because I don't necessarily want to hit these feathers that are going in a different direction. So you come down here. Whoa, oversprayed a ton. <laughs> so those feathers have basically been turned blue, but that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. That was my mistake, but I'll show when I come back to do the white, you'll see why that's not that big of a deal. It's not ideal, but not that big of a deal. Nothing to, nothing to lose sleep over. Now I'm just getting the bottom of the feathers here. Okay, there we go. Bottom of the feathers, bottom, bottom side of the feathers in the middle. There we go. Nice definition on those feathers in the middle. And then up at the top. Ooh, that is really... So that turned out way more blue than the other side. I kind of neglected these feathers at the top here. Those are pretty much going to paint blue just because we're not going to get in there. So again, Spraying from the side. Feather that trigger a little bit. Spray from the side. Underneath the top feathers. Align at the bottom of those feathers. And that's to get in between, in between the feathers like this little triangle right here, I want to be shaded. If I just sprayed that from the side, that little triangle in between the tips of the feathers would stay white and it would look kind of weird. So I don't want that. We don't want incongruous parts there. 
So again, spraying from the side, 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 side. Oh. So this is so watery. Those were going to leave like kind of watermarks. I don't want that. So this the paint is so thin, I can just wipe it off with my finger. But again, spraying from the side, boom, nice definition between each feather. And then kind of bottom of this row of feathers, a little blue. And then this is the back of the wing, so this reverses to where I'm spraying sideways like that. And then I spray too much. But again, spraying too much is not is not the end of the world on this step. This is a very forgiving step. The paint is super thin and we're going to be covering it with white. So, you know, I don't have to be super fine with this step because I'm really going to, I mean, we're, it's not just going to be like a hint of white. I mean, we are painting these things white because I really want that kind of maximum maximum white for this for this element of the army um, it's why I'm using this really soft blue instead of like a gray uh, because I want it to be even though they're mechanical wings I want it to be very soft and I don't want that sharp contrast to make them pop kind of artificially. Um, the white, the pure white of them is going to be enough pop <laughs> for, for our purposes. Um, so just make sure I have a clean tip. And then going in reverse now. So these, we want to keep those shadows on that side of the wing. So I'm going to go from this side with the white Ooh. got a little heavy on the trigger there that's okay but you can see we come back with that white and look at that ha ha that's awesome. That looks great. Really happy with that. And that's just spraying the other direction. Oops. So check it. I've got a little bit of, oh, well, you can't see that, but got a little bit of paint buildup on the tip. Very gently. I'm just going to kind of pull that off. And then this is on the back of the wing, so this is gonna reverse. So now I'm gonna come in. And here I have to be a little careful because if I overspray, am I going the right direction? Yeah, I'm going the right direction. If I overspray, I'm gonna knock out these shadows here, which I don't wanna do. So here I have to be a little bit more careful. But again, basically spraying sideways down down the row of feathers. Looking pretty good. And I actually want to come up a little higher on these wings. There we go. Get that off. And this wing at the end here is still too blue. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. And then for the wings up here, I'm just gonna basically, basically go from the top down and make sure to really hit that top structure of the wing there. Cause 
because these wings up here we're we're not really going to get a ton of shading on just because they're so small and the thing is if i go back and try and hit just those wings with like a white paint for example with a brush they're going to stand out they're going to look totally different from the other wings So the back of those are pretty much hit that middle row a little bit harder there. There we go. So you can see that nice kind of you still have that differentiation. When this got white, this really set off the camera there. But you can see here on the inside, we still have shading on all those feathers. We still have shading on all those feathers, but overall the wing is white and that looks great. I'm super happy with that. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and let that kind of cure a little bit and then come back and do the other wing and just do the exact same thing backwards. So again, spraying pretty horizontally over this bottom set of wings here. Blue, white. Blue, white. Blue. Right. And that was, that paint went on wet. So I'm just spraying it with a little bit of air from like, six inches away maybe very soft because if i get too close it's going to move the paint around and that'll be a nightmare so i'm just spraying it with air and helping it dry just in case i touch it or something i really 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 don't want to mess mess that up because after all we are painting white and white is a paint so because this is so thin i'm just going to hit it a little bit more There we go. And then go back, reverse. So just spraying from the top down on those and just make sure we really, really, really want top of these wing constructs to be like white, white, white. So the, these, I'm talking about these parts up here, the hard part. So flipping this over and then doing that again in reverse. Doing the white wings on a white background is just making the contrast on the camera go nuts. So I apologize for that. But on a black background, you just you wouldn't even see the blue. So painting white is hard, filming white is hard, you know. But there we have uh, some nice shading. And then if we turn it, whoops, kind of overdid it on the white. You see that I lost a lot of those shadows on the bottom there. 
I'm going to let that dry and then see if I need to come back. No, I'm good. I still have shading in between those. Fantastic. Super happy with those. And that's really it. Two colors. Call it a day. So now I get to wash my hands and do final assembly on the Smash Captain with his beautiful new pinions. And uh, thanks. Hope you found that useful. Uh, directionality is really, really a good skill to learn. With the airbrushing, you can save you a ton of time, uh, depending on what you're working on. But getting that down, getting the, that spraying intentionally um, in different directions, getting that down, you know, we just knocked out these sanguinary wings in, you know, just a few minutes. Um, and so especially natural elements like that, that can be softer, that can be, you know, a little looser. Um, really a great technique uh, to reduce kind of work times on stuff like that. So thanks. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful and we'll see you again soon for another tutorial.